so wonderful that we all can be together on this beautiful day. It is a day of separation. But at the same time, it is also a day of glorification, remembrance of Smaran, of gratitude, and especially a day where the doors of Bhakti are wide open in the sky of love. It is a day full of blessings. And uh, I'm so happy, Jainanda Maharaj, that you came because I think you have. A big, big pocket full of realizations in yeah. your in your mercy that you have received from Param Guru Dev. I remember always you telling that he came to you via computer. He came to you, and you didn't even know who he was. And I, I just know in my life it happened many times in the same way. I try to understand bhakti, but somehow I don't know how to do it. So then Nittai is appearing in different, different forms through different, different Vaishnavas and guiding us if every step in our journey. And sometimes Nittai comes in very, uh, you know, special ways, not always uh, so easy to understand. <laughs> but later on, then we understand it was Nitai's mercy. He was calling me, go this way, come here. I am there. I am guiding you. Maybe you don't feel it. Maybe you don't realize it right now, but I am with you. It's in the end auspicious to also in the rewind or behind view understand how we are guided. And uh, oftentimes it also happens that it happens without knowledge at that time. And later on we realize, wow, Param Gurudev was calling me. Same way like with our Gurudev, he tells always the story that how when he was a small child, he got initiated by Param Gurudev when he was only five years old. But later on his life went on and he somehow also forgot that he was initiated because he was a small child and maybe his parents had passed and nobody, you know, can remember when sometimes children get initiated, but we don't really remember everything and the children also don't remember. But Gurudev then, he was praying that he wanted to meet his Gurudev and he was looking for a Gurudev here and there. I remember that Gurudev was telling this. And so, then one day, Param Gurudev appeared in Mungeraj Mandir and he told our Gurudev, Sadhu Maharaj, I am here. I am your Guru. Radharani told me that you were looking for me. Just see. So this connection is very special. How Nityananda, how Anangamandari are guiding us, coming into our lives and sometimes even we may not be so much aware of it, and there is some time in between. So, I want to beg also humbly, Jainanda Maharaj, that you share how Param Gurudev came into your life, and uh, just little stories, and then afterwards we can uh, start also with the Jaya Jaya Shri Guru, Prema Kalapataru, because that is full of mercy and full of bliss. And it's uh, the favorite song that we sing in the Guru Kunja. But before I want to invite all the devotees to share from their hearts, and uh, maybe also Gurudev will come, and whoever is inspired, please come, because I cannot always see who is there, and they come later. So, so Suniti did the <laughs> requesting me to say something. Um, actually, 
I'm so unqualified. But、uh, by the mercy of God, I will do. So, so Suniti did say, Nitai appear different form. So, Guru Dev appear also different form. At first, for me, Pabupad appear in the picture. Because I was working in the office 37 years ago. And at that time, one, de- one lady devotee distributed Pabupad Bhagavad Gita. Then I got it. I give some donation. And then I felt very happy to see this book, Bhagavad Gita. I don't know why. And then I saw picture of Pabupada. Then I immediately realized, not realizing, my feelings coming. He is so peaceful. He should be my guru. This is my first impression. And then I was thinking, where should I go to see him? At that time in the Tokyo, in the Iskon Temple there. So I think next day I visit Iskon Temple. My first question is, when can I meet Pabupada? Mm. Where can I meet? I would, I would like to go anywhere in the world if he's there. <laughs> But the answer was so shocked. Oh, this person left his body eight, nine years ago. I was so shocked. But、uh, what to do? And some other devotee say, some other devotee disciple is proceeding. And then <clears throat> I start、uh, studying、uh, Gita and Bhagatam. And then soon after I join. And、uh, very soon after I chanting 16 rounds and、uh, following <laughs> principles. And then we are practicing. And,、uh, so, I, now I feel Nichananda send me different feature of person. At first, Pabupada's picture is coming. Then another guru appear. Then Gaura Gomina Sai Maharaj appear. Then, Narayan Maharaj come appear. And,、uh, you know, many gurus appear. And then, Narayan Maharaj def- left his body. And then, 2011, big earthquake occur in, in, in Japan. I was so shocked because house in the floating in the river, or actually in the sea, wave. Kai is floating, house is floating, and、uh, water drowning in the, in the city, actually town. I was so shocked. I never seen in this scene. And then I was start thinking, oh my God, this is a reality. My life also anytime will be finished. I was so shocked. And then that day I was thinking, oh, maybe time to quit job. Maybe better to go to Brindaban before I'm leaving. Then I talked with my wife. See, this big earthquake come, you know, happening. And the nuclear planet also broken. Many big problems happening. We may also die soon. So, better to go to Brindaban 
stay, whatever we like. And then she said, yeah, that's true. I'm very, very happy to hear from you. I agree. Better to prepare. Then we are thinking we try to move Brindaban. And, uh, but what to do? I don't know. Then at that time, I don't know. Some or other, I got to Radha Kripa Kataksha and uh, some, 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 some mantra from somewhere else. Then we start chanting Radha Kripa Kataksha and uh, other mantra. Maybe Radha Kundashtakan, you know, many other mantra we are start thinking. Uh, we are start chanting. Then we are thinking, what to do? Where should I, shall I stay? And then I was checking some internet sometimes. Then one, one old film is coming. Very nice sad appear. As I was wondering, who is he? And I saw very beautiful Brindaban scene. I know Brindaban 80s to some extent, but it seems it's not 80s. Probably this is 70 or 60. I felt this Brindaban I never seen. And this sadhu was so beautiful, so sadhu. I felt, oh, he's self-realized, but he may not on this earth. This is my first impression. But so nice sadhu. I wish to meet with him. And then, next year, we moved Brindaban. We got visa, and then I was, uh, I was staying Jiva Institute. At that time, I was thinking, I'm, I have no business in Japan because nobody requests me to speak. I have no follower, no gathering because I left ISKCON. Also, Godamata, we don't have it. And also, I don't go to Godamata so much. So I was thinking, oh, we are alone. And then, so I was thinking, oh, better to translate Bhagatam and Chaitanya Charitamrita. If I could translate into Japanese, then my life may be some meaning. That's my first thinking. And then, to, to, to translate, Better to learn Sanskrit because I was desired to learn Sanskrit many years, but at that time, at that time, my good day was not so, not so favorable to this idea. So, and then I was thinking maybe now I may start uh, studying. And then I was studying under, uh, Satya Narayan and, and uh, Jagadananda Babu. And then Jagananda Prabhu was saying, Jayananda, I'll tell you one thing. Yes. What? I think after Naren Maharaj, next to Acharya, it will be Sadhu Maharaj. Oh, really? I don't know Sadhu Maharaj so much. I don't know. So who is Sadhu Maharaj? And then he's saying, actually, I was inviting to speak Radharasa Sadhanidi in Munger Raj Mandir. Why don't you, why don't you come with me? I'll speak Radharasa Sadhanidi. And at that time, I did not know so much Radharasa Sadhanidi, but a little bit I have, I know. Yeah, that's a very good idea. Because my Ishta Devi is Swamini. I wish to hear Radharasa Sadhanidi. This is 2013. Is before Kartik. 
So I was, I went to Mungeraj Mandel first time, maybe October, maybe 5th, around the 5th. So at that time, Jagananda Pab was speaking, and uh, Sad Maharaj was sitting Vyasa Sam. And then at that time, I first met Sad Maharaj. But before meeting Sad Maharaj, one picture come into my eye. And then I start thinking, who is this guru? You don't know? He is Sadhu Maharaj's guru. Radha Govinda Asbaj Maharaj. I was so shocked because I was seeing in computer that personality appear in the wall of Munger Raj Mandir. And uh, he, he is a guru of Sadhu Maharaj. I completely, I was shocked. Oh my God. What kind of arrangement I, I got. And then, I, in whole cultic time, I think maybe Suniti, maybe you, you may there, maybe. Or maybe, I don't know, Gopika Didi, or I don't know, some other devotee may also together. So at that time, we hear Radha Rasas Daniji, but only we could hear a few verses. <laughs> And then I felt, oh, this Sadhu Maharaj is so nice Sadhu. And then after maybe two months later, or well, maybe I don't know, a few months later, Madhavendra Puri Pabu invited me, hey Jayananda, Sadhu Maharaj is now start talking about Radhara Sasanidi. Why don't you come? I also, I need your, your, you know, I, I wish you to, to come. Yeah. Yes, I'm coming. And then I, I start listening Sadhu Maharaj Radhara Sasdanidi. So then many things happening. Then Sadhu Maharaj was so kind to me because uh, I was translating Chaitanya Charitamrita, but I felt I did not get mercy to, to, to complete, uh, Chaitanya Charitamrita translation. So I felt maybe I'm missing mercy. And then I asked Sadhu Maharaj, actually I'm, I'm translating Chaitanya Charitamrita, but, uh, I could not make it. So I think I need mercy. And then Sadhu Maharaj said, you know, I can, I can share with you. I can, I can, I can teach you Chaitanya Charitamrita. Why don't you come in the evening? Four. Then I start coming to Munger Raj Mandir to, to hear from our Guru Dev Sad Maharaj. So, and then finally I got to the mercy of Sad Maharaj. And then, Many things is happening. And now I feel, actually, this Sadhu Maharaj mercy is coming from our Paramagurde. Also from Nitai, our Nichananda Babu. Also our Swamini. And, uh, Today, I don't know, some or other, now, Kebara Bhakti's house, we have many books, Anandas Bhavaj Maharaj books, more than 10 kind of Anandas Bhavaj Maharaj book. We have also Pabupada books, Pabupada books, Krishna book, and many books. And all Bhagatam, all Chaitan Charitamrita. And, uh, I think more than 50, maybe 60 kinds of book we have. English, Japanese, all together. And I was thinking, oh my God, this house is treasure house. 
in the world, even in the world, this 60 kind of book is very, very rare to find. In Japan, probably only this place. We felt, I felt. Then I was start thinking, oh my God, today's Radha Gomidas ba, ba, you know, Radha Gomidas Baji Maharaj's Jisara appearance day. Actually, all books is mercy of Radha Gomidas Baji Maharaj. The mercy of Sad Maharaj means the mercy of Radha Gomidas Baji Maharaj. I felt. Also, the mercy of Prabhupada. And uh, I just, uh, I was reading a little bit Chaitanya Charitamrita. Very famous bath. Gurudev likes this bath also. Analpita Charin Chirat Karunaya Bhatiran Tirana Ha Karo Samarpaitun Unnato Juara Lasan Swabakti Shuriam Hari Purata Sundara Duti Kadamba Sandi Pitaha Sada Fridaya Kandare Spuratu Ba Sachi Nandana This translation May the Lord who is known as the son of Shurimati Sachidevi be transcendentally situated in the innermost chamber of your heart. Resplendent with the radiance of molten gold. He has appeared in the age of Kali by his causeless mercy to bestow what no incarnation ever offered before. Most sublime and radiant spiritual knowledge of the mirror of taste of his service. So Prabhupada translate in this way. But if say, the Sanskrit say, Samar Pai Tun Unnato Juwara Lasan Sua Bhakti Shuriyam. Samar Pai Tun means bestow, give, give. Unnato, Unnato Ujwara Lasan. Unnato means, here say elevated, but actually, no other age, no other incarnation giving. Ujiwara rasa means usually Madura rasa. But among the Madura rasa, no other age, no other incarnation. But which, which rasa? Sua bhakti shuriyam. Sua Bhakti Shuriyam Radha Rani's Bhakti This I felt, this Radha Dasham The service of Radha, Shurimate Radha Rani This nobody given to us No other incarnation no other age, nobody before Mahaprabhu. And this, I felt this one, this Unnato Ujjal Rasa is usually, we say, Babo Rasa Rasa, this Manjari Baba. But what do you mean? Give me Manjari Baba. This I felt. 
マハパブー、ギブントアス、アワーマンジャリスワループ、スルー、ヘズ、ヘズ、えー、アソシエイト、オア、ヘズ、ディサイプル、And、uh, for me, Radha Govinda Das Bhaj Maharaj is complete Rashika Vaishnava. He give us this Unnato Ujjwalasa. He give to Sadhu Maharaj this Unnato Ujjwalasa. And、uh, for me, Unfortunately, I did not get before meeting Sad Maharaj. Even I met great Sad, but I did not get, I could not get it, this one. Only through the mercy of Radha Govinda Das Bhaj Maharaj. We could, we could get this unna to ujjalasa. Manjari swarupa. This is most amazing for me. This most precious thing for me. This is meaning of our life. Radha Gominda's mah, Babaji Maharaj is acting through our Sadhu Maharaj. So therefore, for me, the mercy of Sadhu Maharaj means mercy of Radha Govinda as Baj Maharaj. And mercy of Radha Govinda as Maharaj means mercy of Rupa Ragnanta. And Nintai. And our Swamini. So, today, I am, we are so glad to hear glory of Radha Govinda as Baj Maharaj. And so glad to give us our Sadhu Maharaj. And also Kesha Baba. And other, you know, Mohan Baba, other, other disciple of Radha Govindas Babaji Maharaj. Because through Radha Govindas Babaji Maharaj, we can, we may advance, we may attain perfection. So I'm so glad to today I want to special thanks from Radha Govindas Bhaj Maharaj and also our Sadhu Maharaj and also all other devotees coming from Sadhu Maharaj and Radha Govindas Bhaj Maharaj and Rupa Ragunata. This l i e So thank you very much. <laughs> So nice how you share your feelings and how your life story is so connected with coming from one step to the next step to the next step. And feeling now that you are going in this direction of Swarup realization in the right place with the right help, it is so rare to find always the right helpers on the way. On the one hand, We cannot order them to come. It's all mercy. On the other hand, we need to be so eager that somehow Radharani will send, Nityai and Angamandari will send. And we are so lucky when we come in this Munge Mande, often we don't know where are we. <laughs> somehow we have practiced Krishna consciousness, but we don't know what is the goal of this Krishna consciousness and how to reach it. 
So you make a very nice, you know, journey of your life, how you go through all the stages and how we hope now that we can somehow get the mercy of Radha Govinda Das Babaji. And that includes, of course, the mercy of all of his disciples who are helping us. Because I think this Munger Raj Mandi is so much vibrating in all of the love of Gurudev and like you said, and, and, uh, our Kesha Bhavaji Maharaj. And, you know, it's like this vibration that keeps us, um, alive and brings us into our spiritual identities because they are practicing it and they are realized. We need these persons. So I also want to ask Sachin Nandan Bhaya, because you are also there for many, many years and you're most senior. Please, you're always, your sound vibration will bring us to Vrindavan because every day you are singing there in front of Guru Kunj. You are there with your heart and your life and your soul. And please also share some of your feelings, what you have in relation to our Param Gurudev and service in Munger Raj Mandir. It will be so nice to listen to you. Now, Radhi Radhi, connection is gone. Mm. What happened? Now he handed the phone to him or the, the speaker and then it's got cut. Oh. Radhe, we have to be patient now. We are the hungry birds, but you know, it's not in our hands. <laughs> oh, Radhe. So maybe until the connection comes back, Gauravani wants to share something. Ah, yes, thank you. We're lucky. We were thirsty and desperate. Radhe, Radhe. You see, he took my name and internet gone. <laughs> oh, you bring us online again. You have not the right perspective. <laughs> No, no, this was the magic of Punyam, actually. Anyway. Yeah, means before coming here in Vrindavan, actually, if I go in flashback to see my life since childhood, there is no such any effective drawback in my life. So, taking birth in a simple family and uh, there was no so, such deep consciousness, this uh, ritualistic family, only traditional and devotional things we are going on. But not at some consciousness consciousness level. Just need to do something that people were doing and grown with this type of environment over there. There was no deep consciousness. But in since childhood something was there. But when in the premises where Gurudev was living, I was living on the Shiva temple. Actually not Shiva only Radha Radha Brajkishore is also there and Hanuman is also there. And uh, by the mercy of Gurudeva, time to time the same people were arriving there. They had been arriving. I was, uh, 
I have been listening to them also, but you know, as a child, like what you can understand. Yeah, but one thing was there. When some Rasa Leela or Ram Leela or the Gaur Leela was going on, when these uh, people who were acting in Rasa Leela, like Mother Yashoda, when Krishna jumped into the river, Yamuna to take his ball back while playing the ball gone into the river Yamuna where Kaliya was there. At that time, the person who was acting, Mother Yashoda, I don't know which type of the people they were, they all they all were from Vrindavan, but it's really the this man who was playing the role of Mother Yashoda. How he was acting and how he was delivering the dialogues of in Braj language. At that time in my life, as when I was not understanding person completely, little higher than an infant, tears was coming in my eyes. This was really happening. His body was getting warm and tears were coming. The tears were also warm. And after this, little headache was coming also. And then slowly, 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 I was just again jumping and going and then everything was finished. The same thing happening when I was listening some music that carrying the poetry of Krishna, like something the Saddam devotee is singing, like Surdas is singing, that Ab Mai Nacho Bahut Gopal. That Sudas is saying, I dance a lot now in this world. And uh, many other poetries of Meera, mostly Surdas. But he was one, he was singing that Mosam Kon Mood Khalkami Jotan Dio Tai Bisrayo Aiso Nimat Harami. So that's it, so I was saying in this poetry, very big poetry it is. And just I was listening that some singer is singing this poetry, maybe because of the music, maybe because of the words. Uh, I remember that time my mother went to Rajasthan with my younger sister, and I was alone in the house while mopping the floor. Because uh, I was alone, my father was on the work, on the job when he was going. I was cleaning the room. And after rooming, when I was hoping, mopping and uh, this cassette player was, this recorder was going on. And at that time, one song is there. Tum dhundo mujhe Gopal mein khoi gaya teri. Oh Gopal, I'm your lost cow. Please try to me find out where I am. And then this poetry when the singer was singing. Both poetry and sing um, and the song, lyrics and the music were touching my heart. And as we are bursting into tears, but uh, I was not knowing why. Uh, just remembering this period, <laughs> my tears are coming in my eyes. I cannot coming little emotion. So I was not understanding why it's happening with me. Then slowly, slowly, and many things happened in the childhood. My two times I fell down that I was just playing with the, you see the stairs were there on the side. But in one temple, I just fell down with a big height. 
and again uh, because and this uh, listening mopping and tears were coming but i was not in understanding why it's all happening slowly slowly music helped me a lot and uh, it was happening and then slowly i started uh, going to yoga ashram three years i spent over there ram charit manas and under another chanting and different chanting were there this also helped me to bring uh, to keep away many bad things that was mostly people were intoxicated at that time but these association at least people were shiva devotees and they were at least on the good path they were living a nice life without any dirt by the dirty people in the society they were keeping them away going association with these type of things so i was also with these type of people and would able to control them many many things happened and finally in 2011 when i came here i just came after resigning the job of a teacher primary school teacher so teaching in the primary classes and then leaving that place falling sick there when i tried to go to brindavan suddenly it came and before 10 15 years before prashant bhai was forcing me to come here and that i was that time i was not so much conscious to come here because i i was thinking that i have some responsibilities my sister was not married and father was almost sick and mother was alone a housewife already was being a lot household work and then when i came here i will not say that desire finished desires were there i thought that oh i, I will i can get some job over here and can make nicely money nicely money means i can myself i can live my life and some money i can send to my parents that can give me a little bit helpful them but soon it didn't work properly means according to me one day i was asking looking the people that do, those were doing the prasadam service in prasadam hall distributing prasadam as do they i also want to do and that time i was wearing tr- trouser he said that in this attire you cannot do this then i said okay then what i have to do i have to wear dhoti and the kanti mala tilak and all these things you have to do then you can do this this is the question of etiquette and the, in two three days after that he gave me harinam i got harinam very quickly and then i just shaved my head just quit my trousers this trouser pant and i started wearing dhoti and putting a long tilak on my head very interestingly and this happened very quickly and i was not feeling that how i am looking very differently i was not conscious about that that after looking in this situation if someone arrives from my knowing place how he will feel or this was not there there was long time i was in this practice and suddenly something happened but even i was not so much conscious about that how i am looking without hair and clean shave and wearing dhoti and all these things so slowly when i started singing over here before i was also singing and the slowly slowly this desire of working or getting salary working some hours in school teaching and being coming back and getting some salary and living a simply life this desire somehow gone yeah but this a 
company desire was there that I must have a, one company. Means I should marry. Guru was that with whom? And I was with Western people definitely before. In the ashram also. And when I was working in Diu, many people from all around the world were there. From whole globe, globally people were coming in the hotel when I was with their nine years. But they were coming and going. This public relation was there. But after coming here, I don't know, it was Radharani desired that she pulled me here and then uh, took me in her seva. Means the summary of whole total exper experiences like this. That she loves a lot. They love a lot. There is no doubt. If something lacking, it's lacking by our side. But myself, I will say, I cannot say about everyone, but about myself, I will say that there were shortcomings in me. But still, there are shortcomings in me. Their love is not less. So with the power or with the strength of their love, or by the blessing of our Gurudev, and this is also one unfortunate thing happened in my life that I took Diksha after a long, long time, just recently, some days ago. This was the unfortunate thing happened with me. But anyhow, I cannot say, and I, will, I can say the unfortunate time gone. And after that, after taking Diksha, the fortunate time started. Fortunate means that the developing slowly, slowly relationship between me and Gurudev is going on. This I can feel. Before my mind, ideologically thinking, many things. But after taking the chart, this totally removed. Ups and, ups and downs are there in the life. If you are little with your material ideology. But yeah, I am not that elevated, I will not say that uh, I overcome on my senses, that I, I overcame on my emotions or many, many other things. They are there. But along with, I feel satisfactory that I am connected. Somehow, percentage can be less, but I am connected. So coming here is very important. Having darshan is very important. Taking prasad, at least, at least having darshan of the Vaishnava people who are really more higher than me. And of course they are. I'm, I'm nowhere, I'm just practicing, I'm trying, I will say. But while trying this, uh, this gist and jill should not be less. You can understand me in the gist of jill, uh, jill and gist should not be less. So it should be always there. Maybe I don't have much time in my life right now till from the date. I don't know. But as much time I have, whatever seva I am doing, Whatever, I didn't increase seva, this I say very clearly, but I didn't make less seva what, whatever I'm doing. So maybe I am stable at one place, I didn't go higher. But whatever I'm doing, with the connection of Radha Mohan, having darshan of the Vaishnava people, sadhu, or by the little mercy of not little full mercy. Again, I will say that we are a shortcoming in, in me, 
the giver who is giving there is no shortcoming mercy is showering always if my pot is not that big that nobody can do anything and really my pot is small let's see by mercy it can become bigger by you people mercy can become bigger but i'm hopeful and uh, connection and to be at one place long time and the making relationship i'm still trying i will not say again that i am successful that's it i mean that connection is very important <clears throat> if you are at one place and at least not the full day half of the day even quarter of the day even if you are thinking differently if you are meditating meditating it works this quarterly brings your brings you half and slowly this half can bring you full so i'm not hopeless hope is there and um, and if i'm connected with you people i'm connected with heart i know many people love me a lot maybe i'm not <laughs> deserve that love but even you people love me a lot it's my fortune and definitely some unfortunate situation and periods comes in my life <laughs> so these are the teachings also and this also the courage of this teaching and the awakening and the consciousness of learning by your mistakes is also important whatever the time left in my life i can spend nicely still begging all of your mercy thank you very much thank you for your honest and deep sharing of your whole life and how you do service there for radha mohan we love you because of your consistent service and your emotional singing is always bringing us to the lotus feet of radha mohan you are very important for us there we feel that you are a blessed servant of radha mohan and every day we are cherishing how you are decorating swamini and by just looking at swamini we feel maybe a little bit how you feel so you are very important to us and we feel also that param gurudev has sent you and that gurudev loves you so much that you are like his own son and i want to ask also gopinath you are hiding but i know you have a bag full of realizations that maybe you share with us before you are maybe running again into the next service because you are living now i don't know you are living in vrindavan since the birth of your beautiful daughter and you will we did so much service together in dole festivals and i know you have deep realizations about the glories of param guru day Hmm. Radhe Radhe, Suniti Didi, Radhe. Sensei, Jananda Ji, Gauravani, all the Vaishnavas. Hmm. Realizations. I'm always struggling with this word. 
because mm-hmm. I feel like it doesn't really fit me or belong to me. I just feel it's something which uh, I can feel my Gurudev has, and I know that my Gurudev has it from his Gurudev. So there is hope. This is the one realization I have that entering this Guru Parampara, there is big hope for us. Because when we look back into our lives, like if I look back into my life, before I met Gurudev, uh, I had, n- <laughs> I don't even know what life was before him, no? And and I was I tried to sometimes think and talk about myself when I was young, and I feel I'm talking about a different person. You know, it's a life of someone else. So this is Guru Kripa. When the old self dies and you only live in the new self, when you get this beautiful gift, this birth given by Guru Dev, which you can receive, then when this new birth starts, then actually we have to become like a baby, I feel like, you know, like we have to sit on the lap of Guru Dev. And as he says, no, like uh, as Swamini is has takes care of her kinkaris, also in this sadak, their guru dev takes care of us. No, he cleans our kaka. He he tells even how we should dress, how we should look. You know, he always keeps us nice and clean, and and he gives so much attention and love to us. Like not even like while we are with him, even when we are not with him like we are away from Vrindavan. I think m- many of us have experienced how deeply he can come and connect with us and be with us. And we have seen so many miracles how Gurudev has, you know, helped people from a far distance. I'm just thinking of now of some recent stories of Jay Govinda and others. What 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 beautiful Loving power lies in this Guru Parampara. Oh, yeah, today was, uh, I'm a bit um, lost of words, short of words, I would say today. We had a very beautiful uh, festival, um, starting with some very nice uh, uh, 24-hour kirtan, which was also always Param Guru Dev's deep desire and wish that kirtan should happen. So we're trying to follow that. We had wonderful prasad. We had amras, mango shake, favorite of Param Guru Dev. So Keshav Baba like poured the nectar into our mouths. I don't know <laughs> how many glasses we had to. Five, Punya is showing five. I had four this time. Um, Guru Dev was in the samadhi with us and we're singing so beautifully. This, uh, song which we have jaya jaya shri guru prema kalapataru adbhuta ya kopakash yeah so this was happening here today mm, i don't know yeah not not much is coming right now nevertheless um maybe i just share one personal story of my life when I, um, when I met Gurudev, I don't even want to want to say when it's, it's too long. I'm ashamed of that. It's too many years now. Uh, and yeah, nothing has really changed in me, but, um, when I met him first time, Gurudev, I felt like he's not a guru, like he's not acting as a guru, you know, like you, you, you meet some gurus from different traditions and they have this um, kind of um, self-understanding of being a guru. But Gurudev was never like always talking about his Gurudev, you know, like in many different conversations, he was always glorifying his Gurudev first, you know. And many of us re- remember when we were in uh, in Europe with Gurudev that he would start 
sharing a class with a wonderful kirtan radhe radhe govinda govinda radhe 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 govinda govinda radhe and i was always stunned that in the beginning i thought his ishta dev is radha mohan why is he singing radha govinda you know then understood of course that he's actually praying and singing to his guru dev to our param guru dev cuz in guru dev he said that he never feels any moment separated from from his guru dev never and this deep deep faith you know i feel like it gives me so much hope because i know that my guru dev will also never leave me you know will always be with me because this is actually the principle of our guru parampara they're all behind us and they're all helping us to go further on this path so we never have to actually be fearful in any circumstances i feel this is so a beautiful realization to use that word and um after meeting guru dev um a couple of years later when i got my initiation my hari nam i remember that guru dev took my hand and said that today i'm putting you in the hands of my guru dev and this was so profound because it was so unexpected you know him saying this but in that moment this feeling came know that that there's really we're not alone on this path you know there's really a whole lineage of of gurus behind us who are just you know helping us all the time and the mercy is just flowing from one to the next it's like a uninterrupted flow of mercy so for me it just means that you know um like i don't like we don't have to actually um worry and and do much we just have to stay on this path and and our parampara will help us and uh, today is the it's the tiro bhav of shila param guru dev the disappearance day but guru dev always says it's the appearance day of him in the nitya lila so today we should take this meditation that param guru dev in his kinkari form is putting alta on swamini's feet this should be the meditation i feel today like he's there and waiting for us waiting for us to hold maybe the brush or the cup or just to see what she's doing there and uh, so just to come back to that that actually as guru just said he never left he's always with us and sometimes keshav baba just says yeah today param guru dev came to me and he visited me and we look like what you know how it means that he's always around no is always there with us like like then why why to worry anymore like you know like the we say in german the halbe miete is done no like it's already 50% <laughs> it's already done in our lives you know we just have to take shelter of of our guru parampara and yeah and just sorry i'm a little bit all over the place i'm not so i'm just struggling with with words today but um thank you so much for yeah giving me the opportunity to say a few words and uh yeah shri radhe but i can ask guru dev a question if you like me to <laughs> you have the best questions <laughs> so guru dev when you say this that you feel he never left you like how you feel him in you feel him in 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 which way that he's with you still 
If you left me, then what is my spiritual existence? I come to my sadhak there. I come to normal material human. He never loved me. He said, I will never leave you. What I say is not my words. What inspired me to say, I say that. I don't know. I never prepare myself anything to say. Why to prepare? One time I prepare, I don't understand. And then I sleep. It was chilly. And I wake up. I say, wake me up and I have to go to the conference. I wake up, relax. Sleeping is also is the only thinking and remembering to my student is more relaxing. And when I wake up, all become surprising to me and the listeners, and to me also, I was surprised. It was only for 60 minutes conference in, in a big way. And they want to develop two times more 60 And I was surprised what is happening to me. Every time it happens. When I know feel related, I say sorry, I can I I cannot say anything. When I'm disconnected, I cannot. When I'm connected, it happens to me in seven hours. When I sit, nothing is coming. I sorry, I cannot share this feeling. And I yes, I cannot share. It's not coming. I'm not receiving. I cannot share. Maybe some mistake happened. I feel not connection with my children. My life changed, my dear, my life changed only by humans. Only, only His mercy, I got my history. I, I, I only, I become a little crazy, only I want to listen about my story. Nothing else. I'm happy with my Radha Radha's only by his grace. And I only want to serve what he said to me, Kirtan and Sadhu Sarabhaisya. It's happening also, I know too. 
I got in my life, Gopina. I cannot do that, but he is fulfilling the wish what I have. I am very thankful and proud of him. And all are helping to me. Because I know they are the expansion of my Guru. Ah, no, I have to do anything. Thank you. So they, they say you can see from the student the nature of the spiritual master. And many things you were doing, your Guru Dev used to do, like always offering asan, always offering prasad. I do nothing what he is But what he is doing, it's a very good to meditate. To thinking and meditating how he is doing, how he is caring, how much he is loving, how much he gives love on thee. We say, Prem Prayojan. Prem is the Prayojan of life. He is living in this Prem. He don't know any other. Point is, is, he was living in in the service of my son. No other job, no other mind was. Yeah. Who likes to share? Who else likes to share? Gauravani? Gora Chandra is here. Gora Chandra. Good at the moment, I have to share. Maybe after something else. Just a few. Paravani, please share something. I'm always completely amazed when I think how things are coming together. Because for me, the first 28 years of my spiritual life, there was just Prabhupada. I was holding at his feet. I accepted him, although he was not on the planet. But when I read his Bhagavad Gita at home, there was a very deep connection. So for me, he was my guru at that time. Although many devotees later told me that, no, 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 he's not your guru. You have to accept the guru here, living. But for me, it was like that inside. And I read in Bhagavad Gita from Prabhupada that actually you accept in the heart and this is the initiation. But I felt lost. After some time, I didn't hear anything about Unat Uchvala Rasa, Svabhakti Priya, 
I didn't hear that from anyone I was near in that group. No one was really explaining what it meant and what is the real Gaudiya Vaishnava goal. So there were some years I was very sad. And then I saw after I was talking with uh, uh, Tarun Govinda and uh, other devotees who were in connection with Sadhu Maharaj, I heard about Shishi Radha Govinda Das Babaji. I picked up this word, I didn't know why. I was just interested, I never heard. Shishi Radha Govinda Das Babaji, who was that or who is that? And I was looking in internet. And Jayananda and me, we actually exchanged on that many times. We have a little bit the same story. I was so impressed when I saw this video, this small video, you know, when Shishi Radha Govinda Das Babaji is chanting. And you see this wonderful atmosphere of Vrindavan. And usually from my background, I should be disturbed that he had gopi points painted here. Because as I was told, this would mean something like Sahaja. Of course, this was the idea of some people. But I heard like that before. But I was not at all disturbed. I was completely attracted to this person. And I wanted to have more connection. And a few weeks after, I was actually praying to Krishna in a not so nice mood. I said, if you want me to accept another guru because my was gone in Iskon, then he has to come here in this house. He has to give me initiation in front of these deities in my house. And he has to be a pure Vaishnava. He has to be from Vrindavan. He had and so on. I made a whole list. So then it happened like that. Sadhu Maharaj was standing in front of my door. He gave me initiation in front of the deities. Everything happened uh, like on the list. And it was amazing because then I learned to know that his guru is Sri Sri Radha Govinda Das Babaji. And this was my connection I actually wanted. And by the time I understood what is the difference of Goshti Anandi, like Prabhupada, he is distributing the mantra and the literature, spiritual literature, all over the world. This was his main service. It was the wish of his guru, Bhakti Siddhanta. And he did it perfectly. And then I understood what is a Bhajananandi, because at that time I didn't really had any clear picture of that. What was a Bhajananandi? I heard that, yeah, they are sitting somewhere and they are doing their bhajan and they are just taking care of themselves, of their own spiritual life. I thought like that. But then, then I understood actually, it's amazing because Sri Sri Radha Govindadas Babaji is a bhajan anandi, but he ordered to Sadhu Maharaj to go around the world and spread actually the prema of Radharani, spread the real, the real point actually of 
that goal in Gaudiya Vaishnava tradition, the real goal, not just Vaidhi Bhakti, Raga Bhakti. So for me, it's completely astonishing that these points actually are coming together so smooth, so lovely, and it's really like a miracle that through Shishi Radha Govinda Das Babaji, this was possible. I don't see it possible in any other way. Even there were some people who were talking about this, like Narayan Maharaj, and of course Ananda Das Babaji, but I always heard also something that others were talking about this, not in a very nice way. So, always some disturption, 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 yeah. So, but in Shri Radha Govinda Das Babaji, no one talked anything because no one knew him. And it was all happening underground, let's say like this, it was just not really visible for the main stream of devotees. It just happened and at once it was just there. And our Gurudev Sadhu Maharaj came to Europe and he was openly speaking about the glories of Sri Radharani like I never heard anyone else before talking so openly and I was completely amazed how it's possible. So I can see that actually all what is happening now is the mercy of Shishi Radha Govinda Das Babaji and for me it is the mercy of Srila Prabhupada because Prabhupada was making the ground, giving first of all the knowledge to the Western people to have some idea, and then the mercy, the real mercy of Mahaprabhu, the Unnat Uchwala Rasa. Svabhakti Priya was given in such a wonderful, clear way from the disciples of Sri Sri, uh, uh, Sri, Sri Radha Govinda Das Babaji and Ananda Das Babaji. So, and that's amazing. And I see the greatness of Gurudev Sadhu Maharaj is like in the example when Krishna bows down to the lotus feet of Radharani that makes him even greater. So that our Gurudev is bowing down to Shishi Radha Govinda Das Babaji makes him really even greater. Because he is teaching us that this is a way of mercy in his practical example. In such a wonderful, simple way that everyone can understand, yes, it's just natural. You don't have to make a degree or something like this. You don't have to be professor, doctor of bhakti. You can just open your heart and get the mercy. And even people who don't want, like me, they will anyway get the mercy. Because, you know, sometimes we are a little bit like 
two persons in one. One wants to go that way and the other one doesn't want. Sometimes that's why it is said, although I didn't really want that way, I didn't really want to perform austerities and go the way of Brahma, still I was just grabbed and pulled. And this is real mercy, otherwise how you can speak from mercy? If you do it, you cannot do it yourself. And I think this is what our Guru Dev Sadhu Maharaj is actually showing us, that he doesn't have any feeling that he did it it's himself. He has the clear vision that actually everything is the mercy of Sri Sri Radha Govinda Das. And we are in this line and we get the same mercy. So, like our brother, or our brothers and sisters already said, we just have to stay online, just have to stay in the connection. And the heart will be cleaned by that mercy. Jai Shri Rade. Jai Shri Rade is so nice. Thank you, Gauravani and all others. While you were speaking, I was just thinking about the first line that we sing in our Guru Samadhi, Jaya Jaya Shri Guru, Prema Kalpa Taru. So that this Kalpa Taru, that is like the tree that is so full of fruits, so full of possibilities to freely share that it's just dropping in your mouth if you're just lying underneath. You don't have to even climb on the tree. You don't like to, you don't even have to endeavor. You just lie there. Like we sometimes have a picture as how it will be if I would be in heaven. I lie down and everything comes into my mouth. <laughs> so I feel that Radha Govinda Das Babaji Devi is so this Kalpataru. And everyone who comes closer and closer, they will be blessed. And you know, he was always in his bhajan, and at that time there were not so many people coming to Vrindavan, you know, not many Western Westerners. It was just that time also when Prabhupada started his mission in the service of his Gurudev. But how glorious was our Param Gurudev that he sent our Gurudev to Prabhupada. You can see that this is the Prema Kalpa Taru. Already feeling the need of the souls to be more blessed and more and more nourished with Radharani's mercy. And that's why he said that to Gurudev, Prabhupada is Nityananda's mercy vehicle. Nityananda is traveling through the heart and through the hands of our dear Srila Prabhupada, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. And Gurudev, you didn't even like that idea why I should go there. I have my Gurudev. But you followed his desires. And sometimes you also say to us, don't be so fanatic and think I have my Gurudev, I will not go here and there and look right and left. If the service, and the service was important, if the service requires always be open to Shimate Radhikas and to Nittais, to Ananga Mandra's desires, because when we want to be an instrument of love, which we pray for, 
of our Gurudev, then we need to be completely empty, ego empty. And that Gurudev you were showing us, you were also crying. You didn't want to leave your Gurudev and the beloved Rindavan, you didn't plan to do that. You wanted to be like a Bhajan Anandi, you want to be happy in your Bhajan and you got all the blessings to be there. And you were and you are there, Gurudev, although you are hiding it from us. So today you were opening our eyes and you were telling, even when I sleep, I come together with Swamini and I'm relaxed, I'm more relaxed. I don't need to put any gyan, any endeavor of knowledge. But Srila Prabhupada blessed you with the desire that your Gurudev, Param Gurudev, had also to bless all the souls in this Kali Yoga with this highest relationship in the service of Sri Radharani. So I pray that I get more and more realizations of this and how merciful you are that you also became the instrument and you are the instrument of your Gurudev. And even though in the beginning when you come and we listen to you, you never speak about him. You were not in this kind of category that we know. <clears throat> oh, this guru and that guru. You were not. So for me, it is the complete example of Parakhi above. Hidingly, but lovingly, go in the direction of becoming a Dasi in the line of our Janavama. And that you did with so much love and so much affection and you always cover yourself good if you said i had so much desire i just go to the west because i like to eat pizza <laughs> but no you you came out of your baja and you you went back you know you you didn't care about your own uh, enjoyment in Bhajan, even in Vrindavan. You just wanted to share with us what your Gurudev had given in, in your heart. And now the time comes where we realize it more and more. Because why? Not that I have any realizations. Not really. But because you want these realizations, these feelings in my heart to appear. Realizations for me means feelings. And these feelings by your mercy, Gurudev, because you have so many feelings that you have from Param Gurudev, they come to us sooner or later. We are just lying under this tree of Prema Kalpa Taru. We just try to not move there. And the Rasa you know, these trees, when they are so full of ripe tree, ripe fruits, you know, you might even lie underneath the tree and the drops come by themselves. It's not that I really have to even eat the fruit. It, it comes dripping. The rasa and the love and the uh, lotus feet of Srimadharadika's service, that service that Paragurudev, you know, he, she is always at the lotus feet of Swamini. So she is at the source of all the prema. And I feel good if you are also guiding us more and more there. And you help me to realize the glories of your Guru. Although my heart is still not so pure. But the prema kalpataru, it just gives most astonishing Mercy to all those who don't even know who they are and who are Durmati Agati, Satata Asati Mati, misdirected and mind constantly absorbed in delusion. So there's great hope today, Gurudev, that the glories of our Param Gurudev will come. By your heart's desire, you are manifesting his glories now more and more in my heart, in our hearts, and that I feel. And uh, uh, 
although this is a little bit a day of separation, I feel also you're guiding us into meeting. Meeting your most beloved Sri Guru Manjari and meditating about your service and her service. And you also said so many times, don't only meditate about your service, but also meditate how you serve them and all the parampara in their different services to go deeper in that and to share it with the world in a loving way and not in a <coughs> you know, self-righteous way. Oh, I am right, you are wrong. But in a loving way, which is the love in action. Thank you, Gurudev. Thank you for calling us together today and let us learn more and more about your feelings to Param Gurudev and let that also come into my heart, in our hearts. That is the day to pray for this. I want like make a recording of you and then listen to it like when going to bed. Your voice is so soothing and, and full of feelings, always <laughs> and full of bhav. Thank you. Thank you, Agopinath. You are making it, you are opening my heart. Oops. Now they are stuck again huh? on Vrindavan Internet. Anybody else would like to share? So, what to do now? <laughs> I don't know if they will come back. Now we're back. Ajay ho, radhi radhi. <laughs> we were in separation again. Okay. <laughs> 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 Jai Shri Radhe. <clears throat> when Gopinath was telling his experience with Gurudev, how he handled him over to Param Gurudev, that is a, a, is a special moment. I also could feel this. And uh, then we can see that in that moment, our history changed completely. Mm -hmm. Our We become new forefathers. Mm -hmm. we, before there was some material body forefathers, 
or mothers. But in, in that very moment, he give us in the hand of Param Gurudev, then we get a new family line. Mm -hmm. He is giving, he is making a new history to us. <laughs> right, Gurudev? <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Param Guru is our grandfather from that moment. Mm -hmm. And they are eternal forefathers, they will not change anymore. They will be with us eternally, not temporary. And like Krishna said in Bhagavad Gita, when you meditate on the forefathers, you will go on their planets. So then we can, in that moment, luckily, agree and say, yes, we like to go to that planets where these forefathers are. Now we go to the planet of our forefather, Param Gurudev, Radha Govindadas, Babaji. No. They are waiting. They are eternal, not, not temporary. We will never change this. They are waiting there and he is the first one who is waiting there, together with our Gurudev. And now we have a new history. All we together who are sitting here, we have, we got a new history. And this is, uh, this is a mystic thing that will change really our life. Not that many things in this world we think that change our lives, but actually this moment we get initiation. That is, that is the real change in life. We, we know we all have, we all together who are sitting here have the, the same grandfather. Can you imagine this? <laughs> no, by, by Gurudev mercy, he gives same grandfather. One who is really taking care of us. One who is really blessing us. And we are happy to to go to that planet. He is now. That means he is he is in Vrindavan. So we also go by meditating on him. We also go Vrindavan, Gopinath, huh? Gora, you you are grandfather, right? <laughs> yeah, six times now so, soon. <laughs> so you know that father is can be strict also no sure. he can uh, sometimes <laughs> scold us sometimes like we have but grandfather is always loving and kind yeah he, yeah, yeah he doesn't look any mistakes in us he just gives love you know and he's Absolutely. so much attachment grandfather has more attachment sure. to the grandchildren so this is yeah, our and he world. has more time than the father because <laughs> father has yeah. to work and to do something but uh Grandfather yeah. is retired. He is very relaxed. He only wants to play with us. <laughs> yes. So, and give sweets and chocolate. <laughs> yeah. This one. I just had a, a small anecdote which came to me about, you know, when we, as Gora said, when we enter into the family of our guru ancestors. So many years ago, Krishnananda, whom you all know, who was living here and was the Pujari in Vrindavan now in Switzerland. So he had to apply for a passport, Indian passport. He had never done it, no? So I helped him to fill out the form and we filled out like mother's name, father's name and birth and so blah, blah, blah. And then some weeks later, uh, the passport office uh, sent a message that rejected. <laughs> and I said like, why was it rejected? We filled out everything correctly, no, Krishna? I said, yes, yes. Then we looked, what was the mistake was that in father's name, Krishnananda had put his guru's name. <laughs> and not, oh my God. <laughs> and I said, Krishnananda, but you know, they're asking for your father's name. And he said, why? Is my father. <laughs> like nothing, I didn't do anything wrong. It's their mistake. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so, so this just came to me, you know, when you said like this becomes our family, Guru becomes Mata Pita, he becomes our mother and father. So even <clears throat> in our on our paper, <laughs> we have to write this now that, you know, you forget. <laughs> We have to change our passports. <laughs> yeah, and I just remember Krishnananda's faith. Like you saying, it's 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 their mistake, you know. They don't get it. I got it. <laughs> yeah. So, usually we appreciate the saints because of their teachings. They gave something to us, like a book or Nowadays, there are recordings, even to see them in some videos helps us to relate to them. Like from Prabhupada already, there are so many recordings and videos you can see Prabhupada, you can relate. Anandaras Babaji books, we could meet him personally, many of us. So with Param Gururi for me is a little difficult because I don't know what he was teaching. He was in bhajan all the time. I listened that he not speak so much Qatar. He only listened Chaitanya Charitamrita. So there are not so many recordings, there are not many there are no books that he gave to us. So, for me, a little difficult to relate. I relate in a way that he is a guru of my guru. But personally, for me, <clears throat> little difficult still. Honestly. <laughs> Is a heritage. If you see father, grandfather, we inherited. Means we received the property of my grandfather or father. What he has. So only accepting to grandfather, we hesitate on everything what he realized. No need to do any efforts. The judge or lawyer give you the letter, you come, your property is come out from here. Many times, we don't know where is my property is going to come. Then lawyer or judge call you and say, this is your property. You come and receive it. <laughs> so you only accept. You don't need to bother. <laughs> or we will receive in heritage without doing no efforts. What was the most important thing that Guru Dev teach for you? Most important thing. Prem Prayojan. Wow. Prem Prayojan. Quint Essen. <laughs> what is the meaning of Quint Essen? I don't know. 
Tuhan yang dar name Gita. Aneng Manjiri daughter. I I don't understand. He said this is Italian word. I said what is the meaning? There are four efforts. Four efforts. And when we do the fifth, fifth effort, that is quintess. <laughs> what is fifth effort? Prema Purusha. Prema Purusha. If you do any efforts with the love, then what happens? Six. We know my soul. And what is seventh? We know my saru. When we will not practice with the Prem Purusha, Chitta for six and seventh will not come in our life. Then we will do only in the fourth Purusha. Dharma, Artha, Kama, Moksha. We will live here. We will do Dharma something externally. Artha collection, some money will come to me. Yeah. Kama will come, it. sense desire will grow. Many work will come. And then I want to liberate from this. <laughs> it is four purushats we will do and live in that. You say, Prem is the Pariyogyan. Always try to keep yourself in Prem Always loving, serving, and keep this here open for Shravanam and Kirtan. Right. Unbelievable, Gurudev. Everything becomes so clear by your explanation. It's such a log, log, logic, logic thing. It's natural. No complicate. It's it's logic. Spiritual logic. Spiritual logic. It's wunderbar. <laughs> wunderbar. <laughs> Wunderbar is another word for quintessence, I think. I just want to add, I just thought that Gurudev spoke that we become like a heritage, that we, just by accepting that, that we get everything. And the teachings or the non-teachings of Param Gurudev are evidence for that. He not speaking and speaking Katha, he not writing 1,000 books. He was in Bhajan and everyone who come near to him got all realization without any, <laughs> any speaking. With not asking question and answer, and even only go near to him and boom, everything coming. So that is the evidence of, you got it. There's nothing to do. You will get it. Only go near. That is the part. 
<laughs> without doing no effort without doing no effort you receive something that second that must be this is not sadhan sadhe this is all my grace happening in our life who can do sadhana only by krupa only by grace how much we surrender we get that per percentage of grace this is i feel it sri ram <coughs> He start giving kripa grace two three times. I lose my consciousness to give too much to me. I lose my consciousness for six months. My heart was not ready to receive, and he want to give. 